fantastic. And especially since this is the first time Marvel's getting something that is centered completely yeah. on a woman. Do you feel any responsibility because of that? I'm really excited. I, I, I think we're, we're, we're very honored to be asked um, by both ABC and Marvel. Um, I think that you know, they liked our background in both kind of genre and drama, and so um, I'm just I'm, I'm very excited. It was something you sort of couldn't turn down. You know? What um what what timeline when the series gonna start off with? 1946. 1946. Yeah, wow. So after the war. The, the first season is just gonna be throughout. It's eight episodes. We'll tell an eight episode arc. We kind of approached it as eight parts of a movie. So it, you know. Yeah. Do you see it as having like a edgier role or a lighter like tone to it? Um, I think. Uh, I would say it's fun. I think the, the template for uh, that the one shot, um, which I love, is a really good uh, template that we, that we responded to when we saw it because it's, um, it, it, it sort of blends genres. There's a little bit of noir, there's a little bit of science fiction, uh, and uh, there's a wink, you know, there, there's humor in it. So I, I like kind of blending all of those together. Honestly, I'm oh, sorry. So as storytellers, it's an eight-episode limited series. Um, do you find storytellers shorter, which is the trend now, right? We just did Resurrection. It was the same Resurrection for and, 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 and I asked the same question of, uh, of Karen. Oh. So do you find that storytellers be shorter, very focused uh, seasons are helpful to your story. Absolutely. I love them. The fact is, for especially anything serialized, it, it allows you to tell a very tight, concise story where every episode has, like, is moving you forward. And I have to say, really spend the time to craft all the episodes. Um, I think on larger orders, the large orders work with a really specific type of show, like a procedural. We were on Law and Order SVU for five years. That you can do 22, 24 episodes um, because you can have different writers working on different scripts at the same time. Whereas a serialized show, it's hard because you, you have to finish this script before you move on to the next script. So just time becomes it. And everything affects. If you make one change, it affects multiple yeah. episodes. And so you're constantly going back and forth between episodes, which yeah. makes it very difficult. A big part of the fun of Agent Shield is seeing characters pop up and ties to the Marvel universe in different places. Now, with Agent Carter, there's a very specific timeline and kind of sort of limits the characters that could pop up. But is that still planned to be a part of the show with uh, you know different characters that comic fans might recognize? We'd love to. I think everything's on the table. And is it just expanding on that? Is it possible that we could see some of the inklings of Hydra infiltrating Shield in the early years during this show? as one potential crossover with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Parallel? We're definitely talking to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and talking about different ways that we can have little Easter eggs and, and kind of have the shows talk to each other even though they're taking place over decades. Right. But, and we also don't want to be telling the same story. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we want to be careful. Obviously, in, um, Winter Soldier, we found out a little bit about her, her husband. Are we going to extend more of that? Because they obviously don't tell us exactly who he is. We know he's one of the people who's saved, but that's it. Yeah. I think that will be something we're, we're aware that that's a question that people are going to ask, and we will certainly uh, hint at different options. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you enjoying the period piece aspect of it? Since it is such a specific era and a very cool era. I'm so excited. You yourself a great design. <laughs> no, I, mean, I never thought that you'd do it on a, on a network show. Uh, I think that it, it's, I mean, it's something that you don't see. I'm real excited to be involved in. I think it was one of the things that actually drew us to the project. Yeah. And yet, when you look at the one shot, um, you don't feel like you're watching an old movie because it, there is a, it still feels modern. Um, so what the period does for you is it gives you a really great style. Um, and it also, you know what I love about the period? No cell phones. Yes. I love no cell phones. No computer <laughs> not tell you how it, yeah. being on a cop show for five years, it's like, ah, oh, but everybody's got a cell phone. It's like, that is dramatically great. <laughs> 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 